Hi all, welcome back to MATLAB tutorial on Tooth Fulcrum. This session is on multidimensional arrays in MATLAB. Multidimensional array in MATLAB is an array with more than two dimensions. We have discussed in the previous sessions that in a matrix, the two dimensions are represented by rows and columns. For example, if we consider a 2 cross 2 matrix. So when we say a 2 cross 2 matrix, it has 2 rows and 2 columns. So if we consider this as a matrix, it has 2 rows and 2 columns. This is your columns and uh, this is the rows. And each element is defined by two subscripts, the row index and the column index. That is here, the element here is specified as 1, 1, which indicates that it is belonging to the first row, first column. Same way here, first row, second column. This is second row, first column and second row, second column. Multidimensional arrays are an extension of 2D matrices and use additional subscripts for indexing. A 3D array, for example, uses three subscripts. The first two are just like a matrix, but the third dimension represents pages or sheets of elements. So let's see how to create multidimensional arrays in MATLAB. You can create a multidimensional array by creating a 2D matrix first and then extending it. For example, first define a 2 cross 2 matrix as the first page in a 2, 3D array. So let's say A is equal to, we'll create a 2 cross 2 matrix first. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and let this be the first page of our 3D array. Now add a second page. To do this, assign another 2 cross 2 matrix to the index value 2 in the third dimensional array. So how do we do this? A of all row, all column, we are going to add a second page. So the third argument always refer to the page number in the case of a multidimensional array. equal to I will assign this with another 2 cross 2 matrix say 11 12 13 14 so now a becomes a multi-dimensional array if we use the whose command on a it will give you the information with respect to the variable a the size is 2 cross 2 cross 2, indicating that it has 2 rows, 2 columns and 2 pages. So RA is now a 3D matrix with 3 dimensions, the row, column and the page number. So if you simply type the variable name into your command window, you could see the pages of your matrix. So first page is a 2 dimensional array with values 1, 2, 3, 4. Second page is also another two-dimensional array with elements 11, 12, 13, 14. So if you are creating the first page as a 2 cross 2 array, the remaining pages should also be of the same dimension. That is, you cannot have in between a 3 cross 3 or 3 cross 2. The size of a 3D matrix depends upon the size of the first page that you have created. If you have created it as a 2 cross 2, Remaining all pages has to be 2 cross 2. So let's add one more page to this. So A of all row, all column. Say we are skipping the third page and now I'm going to create or add a fourth page to my array A. Equal to, I'll create ones of 2 cross 2. So I have skipped the third page. So again, if you give the command A, the variable name onto your command window, you could see the third page by default become zeros. The cap function can be a useful tool for building multidimensional arrays. For 
example, let's create a new 3D array B by concatenating A with a third page. So how do we do that? We are going to create B. So B is equal to and we'll use cat function, cat of. The first argument of the cat function indicates which dimension to concatenate along. So I'm specifying three here, indicating to concatenate in third dimension. So three of, we are using A. A and we are concatenating another two cross two matrix. So say 14, 15, 16, 17. So if you run this command, you can see you have created B as a 3D array and the first page of B is your matrix A. That is another three dimensional matrix. So 1, 2, 3, 4, that is the first page. Second page is 11, 12, 13, 14. Third page is 0, 0, 0, 0. Fourth page is 1, 1, 1, 1. So this we have created from our 3D matrix A, which we created previously. And the fifth page is the newly created 2 cross 2 array. That is 14, 15, 16 and 17. So this is how you create a multi-dimensional array in MATLAB. Now accessing the elements and manipulating a multi-dimensional array we will discuss in the coming sessions. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. And please don't forget to tap the bell icon. You will get notified whenever we upload our new videos. Thank you.